Hey guys, Robbie Pritt back here with you from Antler King. I got a table full of goodies here to help you maintain the most beautiful clover plot you ever had. So let's say we got some weeds coming up in our plot. They're overtaking that plot. The old boot rack 200 here. That's actually 24DB. You got to have that B. 24D as in dog, B as in boy. This is going to help you get rid of all them nasty weeds. You look at the Clethodem here, grass control. You cannot beat these two products and very inexpensive at your local, you know, just farm store co-op stuff like that. So the Clethodem is going to take care of the grass control. The 24DB, the Budrak 200 is going to take care of the broadleaf. And when you're spraying this, the old trusty clover fuel you always hear me talk about, our liquid fertilizer, you can mix it right into the tank with these and spray it as a one pass application. So when you're spraying your for grasses, I want you to mix the clethodem and the clover fuel because even though these are select herbicides, they are going to stun that plant some. So putting that straight potash onto that clover at the same time is going to shorten that little stun type period and let them clovers just kick right back and start growing like crazy. You can do the same thing with your broadleaf control. I highly recommend not mixing the two herbicides together. Wait about seven days in between your sprays before you spray each one. Uh, you don't want to stun them plants anymore. Even though they won't kill them, they're going to stun them. So spray them separately when it comes to the, the 2,4-DB and the Clethodem, about seven days apart from each other, but mix some old trusty clover fuel in right with them and you're going to be good to go.